Welcome into the latest ESPN headline. I'm Prim Saripapat alongside our NFL insider, Field Yates. Well, Thanksgiving is typically a day filled with gratitude, joy, love, and it will be anything but on Ford Field when the Packers take on the Detroit Lions. Obviously, there's a lot of animosity between these two teams, but adding some fuel to the fire, Packer, Packers offensive lineman Josh Sitton called the Lions a dirty team. He was particularly talking about the defense. What do you make of his comments? Well, we all remember two years ago when, when Indomitian Sue stomped on the chest of Evan Dieter Smith, the Packers starting center, and that was a play that will probably forever live on in Thanksgiving infamy. And know, we know that the Lions have in some ways earned this reputation of dirty plays because of plays like that. Now that being said, I think that this is just adding more juice to a rivalry that probably didn't need any extra motivation for either side. I think that if you look at the quarterback situation in Green Bay, I think the offensive linemen are being very careful about making sure they have five layers of protection set up for whoever is a starter for the Packers. Yeah, and this game is really important. If the Packers do win, that's going to put them ahead of the Detroit Lions. You talk about their QB situation. Aaron Rodgers most likely will not play on Thursday, so it's between Scott Tolzien or Matt Flynn. Either way, with either one of those guys under center, how much of a chance do the Packers have of winning this game? Well, if Rodgers doesn't play, it will be Matt Flynn starting for the Packers. And I think that they do have a shot this weekend. The Detroit Lions secondary has shown itself vulnerable in recent weeks. And certainly the Lions are in the midst of a two-game skid that has them looking vulnerable as a team in general. And while the Packers haven't looked great over the past couple weeks themselves, Matt Flynn gives them a little bit of a shot of life offensively. He knows the system. He's had productive games before. He's no Aaron Rodgers, but nobody is that of course we all know so can they sustain success over the rest of the season if Rodgers continues to miss time that's a different question but I get the sense Rodgers is nearing a return ever since Rodgers went out though the landscape of the NFC North has really changed he went out you also have the Bears Jay Cutler has been out Minnesota Vikings they have struggled how come the Detroit Lions have not created more separation compared to the rest of the teams because they are the only team in this division that has really remained intact yeah and they really should have gotten wins over their past two opponents they were up big against the Pittsburgh Steelers going into halftime and that's a game that they should have won even though it was on the road in some adverse conditions in the rain and then last week frankly you should be beating teams with two like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Lions have no one to blame but themselves because as you said they should have created the gap between themselves and the rest of the division given that their two closest competitors are both or have both been without their starting quarterbacks but all of a sudden here we are five games left and th really three teams are in the mix for that NFC North division title it should be a great uh, end of the regular season. Should be a good game. Kickoff is at 12.30 on Thursday. Of course, you guys will talk about it later. So be sure to catch Field Yates and the rest of our football analysts on NFL Insiders on ESPN. That's at 3 p.m. Eastern. For Field Yates, I'm Prim Saripapat with your latest ESPN headline.